Hey, Belle here. So let's talk about some Destiny news. This past week, Destiny community kind of got really hyped again because we finally got news. Um, so let's talk about the spring update that we finally have a date for. Spring update will be coming to us on April 12th. So mark your calendars if you haven't already. I know I'm kind of behind on this video, but whatever. We're getting some new experiences in Destiny. Oh, I just want to kind of go over, I guess, what we know, what I personally am thinking we're gonna get from this. On April 12th, we're getting update 2.2.0. Bungie kind of gave us a list of what to sort of expect so far. So the first bullet point that Bungie gave us is new PvE challenges. They also listed a new quest featuring the Blighted Chalice Strike. So it definitely sounds like, to, to off the bat, that there's going to be a lot of PvE involved in this update. So we're getting a new strike, we're getting a quest that leads into this new strike, which is cool. I like the fact that there's going to be some transitioning into this strike, not just a here, go do this strike for no known reason. It sounds like we're going to get some story, not necessarily story missions per se, but a quest line that leads us into the strike. So we're going to get some information from that. New PvE challenges make to me and to a lot of the community we're kind of thinking prison of elders and there's a number of reasons we're thinking that one because well if you look at the picture that they used like as the cover photo for this blog update it's a picture of a three guardians wearing old poe armor but now it has this taken effect on it whether that's the armor itself or a shader or a nightfall kind of effect we're not sure yet my personal theory is i'm wondering if it is like when we used to get that nightfall effect um that showed up whenever you were in a social space i'm wondering if it's the same sort of thing you complete this strike or this quest line or whatever and you get this effect thing that you can hopefully turn on and off but who knows it could be an entire shader if it's a shader that's awesome that looks cool either way i think it looks great and i'm excited to look like a taken Look, I, a Taken, the Taken, look like Taken, I, I was Taken, I will find you. Another reason that a lot, like, that I personally am feeling that we're going into PoE again, or a form of Prison of Elders, is that we were informed by Eric on Twitter that there will not be any updated Vault of Glass or Crota's End at this time, he said, in April. So, of course, there's theories floating around, and myself, I'm kind of wondering, does that mean at some point down the line they're still considering it? Is it in the plans for some time later this year, the fact that he specified in April? Who knows? We can keep crossing our fingers and hoping, keep letting them know, and maybe we will receive some updated raid content. But in the meantime, the other PvE that really would make any sense then is prison, right? And if you watched the ride along that Bungie did going through the Dreadnought, they were talking a lot. Like they went through a whole segment talking about how they said, whenever you see like those hanging things, it, you probably know what I'm talking about, hanging things or any of the like in the walls, there's a bunch of these that kind of look like really tall tombs, I guess, sort of, stuck into the walls, and some of them are like in places you can shoot them open and everything, that those are holding prisoners. And that there's even like a warden that goes overhead in that one room that's watching over the prisoners and checking on them, that there's potentially some torturing of the prisoners going on. So they really emphasized pointing that out because a lot of people hadn't noticed and didn't know what those were and always wondered. And so part of me is saying maybe, you know, nobody's currently kind of taking care of the dreadnought and since you know the queen isn't dead you know she's kind of the one that keeps things in her little prison of elders playroom as her pets why wouldn't she or the awoken or just in general why wouldn't we have an interaction with these this large number of prisoners on the dreadnought so i kind of wonder if that's the route we're going or if some of the previous bosses or something that we fought in poe have been taken somehow even though we technically killed them but you know we go kill them over and over and over again and we don't question it right we're probably seeing some poe taken combination which is exciting i think that's really cool i'm interested to see where they're going with that route how they're going to tie it in with everything so if you have theories drop them down below so we've also got new and updated gear which 
I mean, it could easily just be the Prison of Elders gear and other things like Iron Banner and Vanguard stuff that's just been bumped up to meet that new max light level. Which, yes, we're getting an increased light level if you weren't already informed of that, which you probably were. So that's really cool too, because even if we're not getting a ton of new content, they're obviously going to have to bump up at least some of the old content up to the new light level. One, so that there is a reason to actually be a higher light level, and two, a way to get to said higher light level. It may just be a lot of repeat gear we've seen before from these particular events, but it does say new, so I don't know if that is new exotics, I don't know if that is just new POE gear or Vanguard gear or wherever you get gear from. I mean, chances are we're going to see a new rendition of Iron Banner gear. They tend to do that every time there's some kind of update like this. So not totally sure. Hoping there's some new exotic quest line kind of things or, you know, like the hidden during this particular nightfall on this day, this week, you go do this thing and you open a door that sometimes doesn't open and you can go get a particular weapon if you're really good and fast at killing things. If it is new exotics, it's odd to me that they didn't release any specifics at all like they did with their Instagram thing this last time around with the Taken King giving us kind of like some sneak peeks of things. Who knows? For those of you who are super into PvP, don't be worried. You're not being completely forgotten. They did say that there's going to be some new sandbox and crucible updates. They're not saying new content, they're not saying new maps or anything, but technically an update could include any of those things. Sandbox things could include those things, or it could just be some more weapon balancing, um, maybe a new game type or something that we haven't seen before. Personally, I'm excited for it. The only piece of advice I can give people is, one, hold on to like old engrams or whatever, because the last time we got just an update, they did decrypt into new level things. So keep that in mind if you have anything, maybe hang on to it if there's nothing specific you're looking for old style right now. And if you can get close to max light right now, try to do it just because it might help you with whatever. In our past experiences, Bungie likes to put us into content that we're just a tiny bit below level for. So guessing either this new POE or whatever it's going to be and the strike may be, you know, they're not going to start us at 320. The enemies are going to be higher than that. So the closer you are to their level, obviously the better experience you're going to have, a little bit easier experience. If you can do it, if you can't, trust me, I totally get it. I'm like, I'm a 297 forever on Xbox. I just I'm facing the facts. But the cool thing about this update is for people like me and many of you who don't get to play all the time or who haven't had great reward drops, this is going to help. This is going to add ways to get above, beyond that 320 light level. We're not sure what the new max cap is. Um, there's a lot of theories it's going to be 340 or 330. My guess is 340. We'll see. The other piece of advice I can give is be excited. Definitely be excited. But don't set your expectations so crazy high as if this is a DLC, as if this is an expansion. They're saying it is like the biggest update we've had since Taken King, but technically if you look at it, that's comparing to SRL and Festival and Crimson Days. Obviously Festival and SRL, fun. They gave us some things to do. SRL was probably the biggest one out of those, but they weren't permanent. Those updates still exist in there, but they weren't permanent updates that we got to continue to experience that content. This is going to be. I wouldn't even call it like a mini DLC. I really wouldn't do that just because we're not getting a new raid. We're not even getting the old raids updated. We are getting a new quest and a new strike. So there's definitely content. It's not a normal update, but if your expectations are lower, but still excited, the only thing that can happen is that you are surprised, happily surprised, if it's better than what you were expecting. If you set your expectations really high, like all these people who were like, oh, we're going to get, you know, like the old raid stuff's going to be revamped. And then Urk like crushed their dreams, <laughs> right? Like it's fun to speculate. And I think that's great. Definitely do that. Just remind yourself to just enjoy what we do get and that it is 
new stuff. It is exciting, even if it's revamped old things. That's awesome. You know, it's going to bring people back. I already see lots of people being more active, discussing Destiny. People are going and like, oh, I need to go like catch up and play more. And you know, it makes them want to go play again, just hearing the news, which is awesome. Which gets me to Hype Train Inbound. We also are getting some reveal stuff leading up to the actual update. So for the next three Wednesdays in a row, March 23rd, March 30th, and April 6th, all at 11 a.m. Pacific, if you tune in to the Bungie Twitch channel, they're going to be giving us a bunch of new information, like what to expect. So the first one on March 23rd is new things to do. So it's probably gonna be the one that most people are excited about. They're going to give us some information about whatever all these different new things are. Is it a POE thing? Is it a, you know, what what's the strike about? I don't know what they're exactly showing. They didn't give us any direct information on that. The one on March 30th is about new things to earn. So that's gonna go over the new and improved gear that we're going to be receiving in this update. And the last one on April 6th is the one about the Sandbox and Crucible updates as well. Definitely worth tuning in or watching when you're not at work. You might have some of your questions answered, some of your concerns lessened by watching. And, you know, don't forget you can go subscribe and get really fun emotes and spam the poop out of the emails. I didn't tell you to do that. And you know, the money goes to the Bungie Foundation to go help the world. That's kind of it about the update. I'm just, I'm really excited for April. I'm excited to see what we end up getting with all of this. I'm excited for tomorrow, which is the first reveal. And that should be really awesome. Definitely tune in. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the entire update. Are you super excited for it? What are your concerns about it? What are you hoping for? And what are your theories? of what we're getting as far as actual events or things to do in game and about the new gear. So let me know in the comments below. Let me also know any other videos you want to see me do, whether it's Destiny related or not. You guys are super awesome. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I love every single one of you. For now, this bunny's got a bounce. Bye. of which I want to give a huge shout out and love to all of the people in Brussels right now. Um, my heart goes out to you and all of your families and anybody affected and, you know, everybody all over the world. Just stay safe. And I know that's not always in your control, but I, I really wish you all the best. And I am, it's heartbreaking when tragedies happen, whether they're natural disasters or they're or whether they're human caused. <laughs>